researchers have found mysterious climate patterns on Jupiter that periodically recur in cycles lasting years and oddly mirror one another in each hemisphere. The unexpected discovery raises intriguing issues concerning both our solar system's largest planet and massive gas giants orbiting other stars. Stay with us till the end as we tell you all about the revelations by scientists about this massive planet, Juno and Jupiter. Jupiter is one of the brightest celestial objects and is equivalent to the size of almost 1,300 Earths. Over the past few decades, the mesmerizing storms that swirl across Jupiter's upper layers of sky have been revealed by telescopes and visiting spacecraft have proven the unfathomably intricate nature of Jupiter's atmosphere. However, Jupiter's mechanics are still proving difficult to understand for space physicists. Like Earth, Jupiter is 90% hydrogen, which is present as gas in its outer layers. However, as the planet becomes deeper, the pressure on the hydrogen increases to the point where the electrons are forced out, resulting in a fluid with metal-like electrical conductivity. As a result of this process, the planet develops a powerful magnetic field that is amplified by Jupiter's fast rotation. However, the composition of Jupiter's core is unknown. Nobody knows how deep the liquid hydrogen layer goes or whether the core contains heavier components. NASA's Juno spacecraft's reading about Jupiter's atmosphere, gravity, and magnetic field have proved pivotal to learn more about the planet's interior. According to the research, Jupiter may have a far larger fuzzy core than previously thought. The recent images of Jupiter show thick stripes and spinning storms, although most of them only show the tops of the giant planet's clouds. Therefore, it is still unknown whether the features visible on Jupiter's surface exist below or how the weather is like inside Jupiter. Some theories based on Juno data shows that the bands, storms and other surface weather that we can observe may continue millions of miles inside the vast gas giant planet and may even extend farther than the probe can observe. According to one theory put out by Galileo scientists, the innumerable comets, asteroids and other tiny bodies that Jupiter has drawn in and consumed when they get too close are the source of the planet's heavy components. During its 31st close flyby of Jupiter, Juno also photographed a green flash on the planet. At the time, Juno was approaching Jupiter at a latitude of about 78 degrees and was roughly 19,900 miles above the planet's cloud tops. Contrary to Earth, where lightning strikes often strike at the equator and come from clouds consisting of water and ammonia, green flashes on Jupiter typically strike close to the planet's poles. According to researchers, lightning production on Jupiter appears to be relatively comparable to lightning formation on Earth, albeit with around 10,000 times more energy. Additionally, storm clouds on Jupiter are turbulent and have unpredictable environments with updrafts that propel water droplets upward and downdrafts that simultaneously blast hail and tiny ice particles downward. After that, the collisions between the ice and water particles caused by the storm strip electrons from the water droplets. This transforms the storm cloud into a massive powerhouse with a positive charge at the top and a negative charge at the bottom. This green flash is of particular importance as it holds the key to comprehending the mechanics of the planet's atmosphere. Furthermore, it provides information about the atmospheres of other gas giants in our solar system. Even while every planet is different, what we are discovering on Jupiter may be typical of larger worlds both inside and outside of our solar system. As it is well known that heavier elements other than the initial hydrogen and helium floating around in the solar system were transported to Jupiter by water ice hitchhiking on early comets or asteroids. However, recent discoveries reveal something completely different. The Herschel Space Observatory has discovered water vapors near the impact locations of an asteroid by the name of Shoemaker-Levy 9 in Jupiter's stratosphere. This is in contrast to what the previous models had predicted. Furthermore, one Juno search has discovered Jupiter to have a surprising amount of water. 
Water makes up about 0.25% of the atmospheric molecules above Jupiter's equator, which is a significant increase above Galileo's earlier estimates. This is really important because it will help us better understand the process by which planets develop. The James Webb Space Telescope has also started to reveal amazing new research about the gigantic planet. With Webb's sharp infrared imaging technology, the telescope has started to catalogue planetary atmospheres inside Jupiter in order to understand what makes them up and how they can change over time. The research conducted closer to Jupiter will help to enhance models for how planets develop, evolve and undergo additional change in various planetary systems by providing new information. As it is commonly known that Jupiter is too inhospitable for the sustainability of life, however, its moons may not be. The gas giant is surrounded by a vast number of icy moons, with Europa, Ganymede and Callisto being the biggest and most well-known. Interestingly enough, 12 new moons have been discovered on Jupiter, which means the planet currently has 92 natural satellites. This means that the gas giant now holds the record for having the number of moons present on any planet in our solar system. The new moons all have diameters between 0.6 and 2 miles, making them all significantly smaller than Earth's moon. And this is not it, as the number of moons around the planet is anticipated to increase due to the fact that once larger moons collided with other space objects and fragmented into smaller satellites. So, it is quite possible that these worlds contain the elements necessary for life. In the upcoming years, researchers expect to learn more about Jupiter and its moons. The European Space Agency intends to send a mission to study Jupiter's icy moons this spring. With the help of these missions, scientists expect to learn more about the moon's potential for supporting life, as well as their hidden oceans, magnetism, heating processes, tidal effects, orbits, surface activity, cores and compositions, atmospheres and space environments. NASA is also sending the Europa Clipper mission in October 2024, which will orbit Jupiter and closely examine its moon Europa to determine whether it has conditions that potentially support life. The research next year can prove pivotal for the success of these missions as the spacecraft can be protected by having a better awareness of how many moons orbit Jupiter. These missions will help solve some of the unsolved mysteries that include the nature of Jupiter auroras, the flow of high-energy particles around its moons, and how Jupiter's magnetic field, which extends around its moons, is shaped by the solar wind in various zones around the planet. However, no one knows what further mysteries we will come across as we continue our exploration of the universe. That is it from today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you did, show some love and hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you never miss out on any of the amazing videos we have in store for you.